Hi, Crawl here. So since someone requested that I should do a build tools install installation of the normal or the easy way, however you prefer it, if we're gonna do it the easy way, all you really have to do is go and install Windows build tools via NPM or Yarn, however you prefer to do that. There is a very nice GIF here. Uh, it also shows you how to install it correctly. You can set some uh, some options that you want to maybe uh, include, like adding it, adding Python to Path, which is a thing you need to do if you uh, are running Yarn, because Yarn still needs Python to be in Path, compared to just having a setting set. Uh, correct me if this is wrong, by the way, but it's just something I've read because I don't use any of those tools. Um, so <clears throat> what you need to do for this is very simple. You just need to install it like an NPM package, uh, install it globally, but there is this one drawback to this. It needs to be installed in an admin shell. So a lot of people think that you can just um, open a shell. If I go to my downloads folder, open a shell. I don't need that right now. Uh, right, right click, shift right click, and then open PowerShell here. But this doesn't open an admin shell. This actually opens a user shell. Now, what this means is that I cannot do certain uh, installations because they require admin permission, which the build tools actually do. Now, to circumvent that issue, you could upgrade to an admin shell inside of it, which we're not going to do because the chance of any of you guys remembering is a bit hard. So what we do is we just type in PowerShell here, over here and then make sure it's this one. Make, make sure it's not the ISE. It also works for the ISE. We just go with the normal one. We right click it and run as administrator. We get the usual thing going on. Uh, with the display capture, uh, yeah, the display capture actually bugs out on this. I'm very sorry. Um, where we just have to accept that we want to start something as admin, and then we get our admin shell here. Uh, it automatically starts in in the directory of Windows and System32. This is completely fine. And now you can just type in the command. So if you have npm available, which everyone should have, you just exactly type in this command, like this. Just copy paste it, and at the end, make sure that if you intend to use yarn instead of npm. Make sure you put add Python to path. It's separated by a hyphen, and it starts with two hyphens. After this, you should be ready to go, and everything should just install and hopefully work. Now, there is some issues that are being encountered with this, and they may be resolved already when, I don't know, a few months after this video, so please don't please take this with a grain of salt. Uh, currently, there's an issue ongoing, uh, which I read about here where they are detecting um, if the Visual Studio installer is already finished because sometimes it just hangs and they're calling just process exit. So it, there might be the chance that the Visual Studio build tools are not getting installed and it just exits before they do or while they do it, which is a bit mm, not so nice. Now that this is out of the way, this is one way you can install it. I'm not going to do it. I already have it. I don't want to do it again. Now, the usual way we're going to do it and the native way in quotation marks, as you would might call it, you type in VS Build Tools exactly like this into Google, and you should have the first link should go to a Microsoft link. I'm going to put that into the description anyway. After this, we go to the to the, to the website of Visual Studio. You obviously can just download Visual Studio and install that, but some of you guys might not even need that. What we need to download is right here. We should jump to this link automatically. It's called Build Tools for Visual Studio 2017. A few people will recommend using the build tools for 2015, but I have had so far no issues using the 2017 one. So I'm going to trust in those. They are faster to install and also a bit tinier. So what we do is we just download that whenever that happens. While that is doing everything, yeah, there we go. Uh, we go to python.org which we need for Python, since uh, we need Python to also build our modules because Node GIP or JIP uses that one. So what we need to do here is we click on Downloads and we go to Windows. And now we have a choice. We either can download free or two. We obviously want Python 2 because Python 3 is not yet supported. If you do not have a use case for Python 3 yourself because you're programming in Python, but the chances are if you're programming in Python, you already know how to do all of this. So we go with latest Python 2 release, which as of this video is 2.7.15. It's not going to reach further, maybe a patch version higher, but it's not going to go for higher here. So we click on this. Um, make sure we download the 64-bit um, MSI installer if you have 64-bit. If you do not, you know, you download the other one. So we download that one too. Then we can close out of 
out of both of them and go to our downloads folder. What we do is for the, pi for the, for the VS build tools, we just double click it. It will give us a nice pop-up with the installer. Then we have to click yes. I'm sorry for the black screen, by the way. We have to click yes on the uh, UAC. Uh, click on continue here, it doesn't really matter. It downloads the installer or if it's already installed, it boots up the installer if you have one, which can take a very long time. So now you can select additional packages here. What I personally do is I always click like the uh, C++ build tools and the net desktop build tools additionally to the MS build tools because I am the, uh, working with C Sharp and a bit of C++. But you don't have to do that. And this one is also not necessary. You can click it. It installs the TypeScript SDK. You can also deselect that and it shouldn't actually change anything. Like it's like a megabyte, so it doesn't do anything. So we have the MS build tools right here. What we do is we click on install and then it just does everything. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. So we just leave everything as it is. So what you do is you just click on install, wait until everything is done, exit out, and we're good. For Python, we do the same thing. Double click it, wait for the installer to boot up. Um, <clears throat> if you already have Python installed, it's gonna be a problem. So we're just gonna click on change real quick. What you can do is you can click on advanced and compile the Python files, which we don't need to. So what we do here is everything should be selected except at Python exe to path. So what we need to do is we need to click on here and will be installed on the local hard drive. So what that means is that it puts Python itself into path. So as we did with well our last video on FFmpeg, we can just use it from the path. So every program that uses actively Python, we can just tell it to do that. It will be installed on C Python 27 or 2.7 rather. After this is finished, which it is for me, we should have a Python folder in here of Python exe. And we also, if we should decide to check into our advanced system settings, into the environment variables, going into path again, we should see somewhere Python 3.2. Yeah, I don't have it in my path because I don't need it in my path, but we should see it in here, right? Instead of Python 3.7, it should be 2.7. Now that this is all done, what you need to do is you just restart all of your all of your shells that you have running, or your terminals. Type in Python, it should open the Python shell or the Python uh, REPL. It should say 2.7, 0.15 or whatever it is for you. It should not say 3.7 because that's not what we're aiming for here. And then we're practically already done. This is it, this is it, this is what we need to do. Now. We need to install something that gets compiled. So for this to Earl pack, for example, is something that needs to be compiled when we're using Discord JS. So we can test that out. Uh, we just go into a directory that has nothing in it. Um, and then we can just type in uh, npmi um, discord app slash Earl pack. Now, and this should use the build tools now to compile itself because there is no pre-built binaries for all pack available. This will take some time installing and there we, there we can see already how it's going to build everything. If you did everything as I told you, restarted the shells and everything, this should just go through and finish building it and install the module without any issues, without any errors. And there we go. Compiled as it should like. This also works with yarn, by the way. So if we just delete the directory um, and remove the package log JSON and then do yarn add, what was it? Uh, destroyed app all pack. I'm not sure if it's faster or not. I always feel like it's faster. So if you decide to use Yarn or NPM, that's completely on you. Installing Yarn is not very hard. And then we're done. It worked, it built. And this is how you install build tools the normal way without the NPM package. How you decided to do is completely up to you. Make sure if you use the NPM package, you use an admin shell, like I showed you. If you do not decide to use it, just follow those steps, download two MSI installers, click through them. Make sure you set, if you install Python, make sure you set the option to put it into path, and then we, you're already good to go. 
Thanks for watching.